Tonight, we're hearing from the woman whose accusations of decades old sexual abuse led to the removal of a high ranking priest in the Diocese of Lafayette. She has praise for how her case is being handled right now, but concerns about how it was handled in the past. Monsignor Roby Robichaud was removed from his position as judicial vicar and placed on leave, in leave, on leave on Saturday. According to the bishop, the church's review board found the allegations had the semblance of truth. The allegations were brought to the diocese in 1994, 2004, and again last month. Tonight, there are still questions about how those accusations were handled and why Robichaud was able to remain in ministry and even be promoted. Some of those questions from the accuser herself. KTC investigates. I thank her for her courage in coming forward and assisting us in this investigation. At Monday's news conference, Bishop J. Douglas Desitel praised Monsignor Robichaud's accuser. And now, she has praise for the diocese. In a statement released to KETC, she says Bishop Desitel and his vicar general, Curtis Mollett, could not have been more transparent or responsive in their handling of the accusations, saying they demonstrated the utmost concern for my well-being and integrity. But she does have questions about why something wasn't done sooner. As Bishop Desitel acknowledged in Monday's news conference, the diocese was aware of her accusations in 1994 and 2004. She writes, both Bishop Flynn and Bishop Gerald were presented with the same information. It appears that there should have been enough information to take action both in 1994 and in 2004. In 1994, the matter was handled according to the protocols in place at that time. The bishop wouldn't elaborate on that, but as for 2004, according to the diocese, Bishop Gerald consulted with the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith in Rome, because under canon law, in 1979, when the alleged abuse started and the accuser was 16 years old, 16 was considered an adult. The CDF agreed, even though state law would have considered her to be a minor. I am deeply sorry that this has happened to any child of God who has been abused by a priest. The bishop wouldn't take questions at today's news conference, and tonight the diocese is reviewing questions they requested from us through email. Among our other questions, was Bishop Gerald's response in 2004 appropriate? Has law enforcement been notified? And we also asked for Monsignor Robichaud's history in the diocese. And tonight we are taking a closer look at his career in the diocese, which included many years around children. Three is on the street tonight. Our Chris Welty live at the Diocese of Lafayette with that part of the story. Chris. Jim Marcel this afternoon, KTC investigates pulled records from the official Catholic directory, a book listing each church and priests, as well as their roles in the diocese. According to the official Catholic directory, in 1977, Father Roby Robichaud began serving the church at St. Genevieve in Lafayette. His duties continued until he was transferred to St. Peter's in New Iberia in 1979. That's the year of the alleged abuse of a then 16-year-old girl. In the 80s, Robichaud spent time at St. Joseph's in Iota. He was there for two years and Sacred Heart of Jesus Congregation and St. Cecilia School in Broussard. In 1989, Robichaud left Acadiana for graduate studies in Washington, D.C. These allegations were first reported to the diocese in 1994. One year later, Robichaud was placed on special assignment for the Office of the Tribunal in Lafayette. Robichaud is most known for his time as pastor at St. Mary's Church, a position he was appointed to in 2000. In 2004, Robichaud's accuser coming forward again. She requested he be removed from ministry, citing zero tolerance. Robichaud wasn't and continued working closely with St. Mary's Early Learning Center, Catechism, and Religious Programs for four more years. The priest is supposed to be light, not darkness, in people's lives. In 2008, Robichaud transferred to St. Leo the Great, serving the church and St. Leo Seton School. That's where the records end. The full list of Monsignor Robichaud's history is part of our pending questions request with the Diocese of Lafayette. Threes on the street live in Lafayette. Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Meanwhile, a former Acadiana priest will spend the next five years in prison after admitting to possessing child pornography. Felix Broussard pleaded guilty last week to having 500 photos on his computer. Broussard served as a priest for 23 years. Two years before his arrest, he was working at St. Bernard in Brobridge where he was a priest and also oversaw the elementary school.
Here's Rob 